I've been a professional swimmer since I was 14 years old and obviously I've been quite grateful for my swimming career but it's something that I've taken for granted. When I, all of a sudden I was faced with a shoulder reconstruction and the surgeon telling me I might not be able to swim again, I guess that's where I sat down and really thought that swimming does matter a lot more to me than I think it does and having that taken away from me for a short time was absolutely terrible. I'd always be walking down the supermarket or something with my arm in a sling and a prosthetic leg and someone would think that it would happen at the same time and people thought I'd fallen off a cliff or something. And I'm like, 20 years apart. <laughs> yeah, where, there? We've never really done like, what plate really changed I was a bit worried coming back from my reconstruction because the whole team has changed and I didn't know, I guess, how I would fit in as a piece of the puzzle. But it's better than it ever has been before. Um, everyone that is here wants to be here and wants to be the best in the world. I always think positive change. If you have that positive frame of mind, it's going to help you when you come to change over. Heading into training now, um, I'm really doing all of my training because I really want to be there and I really want to do it. So I do have a very different approach to my training and my racing now. And I think that's what's making the biggest difference is that I'm just a lot happier. Relays are a lot more fun for me. <laughs> Obviously standing up on the blocks with you know, three of your best friends is amazing. Um, I get very competitive with the other countries, I don't like any other country beating us. So heading into Rio, do have a fair bit of expectation on myself, uh, four gold from London and it is going to be difficult to beat but at the end of the day I guess all you can do is go over there and swim as fast as you can. I think we are confident going into Rio but we're not going to do say what the Americans have said in Sydney 2000 and say we're going to smash around like guitars. Um, I guess we do still have to maintain a bit of modesty there and know that every other country in the world is trying to beat us because we are the best right now. Rating out of 10, how fast do you think the change is? All right. One of the highlights of London for me was to win a gold with three other teammates who I am actually really close with now. Also another great memory is meeting Prince Harry when I was 13 as well. My name's Lakeisha Patterson, everyone calls me Lucky because birds tend to poo on me a lot. But other than that, if anything can go wrong, does go wrong, but without those challenges, I wouldn't be where I am today. This camp has helped a lot because we don't really get to focus on relays a lot, but when we do come together, it's really helpful and like just working on those processes to be able to be number one in Rio next year.